Hello and welcome to tip of the day and today my tip will literally save you hundreds of pounds if not thousands of pounds and whilst this tip it will probably be very obvious to you you'd be surprised at how many people don't actually follow it but let me show you so let me show you what it is okay so if you've got a septic tank a cesspool a sewage treatment plant then please, 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 if you can try and remember to do this, you'll save yourself a lot of grief. And so I'm gonna start off by saying, do not flush, all right? So do not flush down the loo, all right, the following, here we go. Nappies. Baby wipes or san sanitary towels, right? I know it's probably very convenient to flush them down the loo and just flush and get rid of them out of sight, out of mind. But let me just show you why it's such a bad idea. Let me show you the problems that will result because of it, okay? You probably know this already, but if I show you, it'll probably impress the idea uh, a bit more into your head. So let's say this pipe comes from your house, all your wastewater, everything you flush down the loo goes down this pipe, right? And then let's say it goes into the, the tank here. So let's just give you a tank, right? All right, and that is... All right, so that's the septic tank, okay? And this is the outlet pipe. So you've got your inlet here, and you've got your outlet here. Okay, so all your waste water comes in, goes into the tank, and then it fills up. And when it reaches a certain height, it will then make its way down into the soakaway. So what happens is this, all the debris that you flush down the loo, okay, all the debris like sanitary towels, nappies, right, it, some goes to the bottom here, some of it floats around, and more often than not, it makes its way into the outlet. Right, so with a nappy, you can imagine, you know how big a nappy is, right, like those disposable nappies you'll find that those nappies are quite big, right? And you only need, um, on some of the pipes or whatever, where the actual joins are, it's like snags. And once they snag, right, the debris can block the inlet pipe coming in. So then what happens is once that's blocked, the water will then start to back up towards the house so you won't be able to flush the chains. If you're really unlucky, the nappies and the baby wipes and the sanitary towels will block the outlet pipe up, which means, right, that the whole system will then start to block up with water and backfill down here towards the house. And it's really hard to fix because you can get dino rod in, right? You can get dino rod in. And um, let's say this is the... That's the ground there, right? Dino rod have to come in and they actually have to dig into the ground, right? And dig into the pipe and cut into it to unblock it. So they have to locate it, they have to dig into it. So wherever that is, and they have to find where the block is. I mean, they're not psychic or anything. So it could be in there, it could be here. Whereabouts in the pipe is it? Is it down there? And once they, they come out, I mean, you probably know this yourself. I mean, some people get it on the insurance, some people don't. It, it really does depend on what your insurance coverage is. And secondly, it does actually depend on the cause of the blockage, right? But look, lots of people I know have had to pay for this. And you can pay anywhere from like 600 to 1200 quid just to get someone in to unblock the, um, the debris from the pipe. So... Yes, I've gone into that in a little bit of depth for you. Um, you know, it's not a nice subject to talk about, but that little tip can save you a lot 
and of money, a lot of time and effort because these problems normally occur, to be honest, during the school holidays or Christmas time, stuff like that where the family's in and, you know, and, and at the time you least need it or least expect it, bang, you know, those problems occur. So look, if you've got any, if you suspect your septic tank or your soak away is blocked, right, give us a bell or visit septictank.co.uk because there are ways and means of unblocking your septic tank and your soak away system without necessarily having to get dyno rod out. But look, the point being is if you think that over the years you flush too many things down the toilet and into your soak away and it's, it's given up the ghost, it's died on you, it's blocked beyond repair, then give us a ring because I've got lots of solutions and fixes to get your septic tank and soak away system up and running, but without costs in the earth. Listen, thank you very much for watching my tip of the day. As I said, if you want any more advice, go to septictank.co.uk, but thank you very much for watching.